Hi, welcome to this new tutorial video. Well, uh, today I will show how to install Bradway uh, on this uh, GXD392 uh, flying countering board. So uh, this board is pretty cheap, it's costing uh, something like uh, $13 including shipping, so it's pretty cheap. And this board is a perfect candidate for Bradway. So Bradway is a kind of multi wi uh, version but for a uh, 32 bytes uh, IRM core which populate this uh, very cheap toys frame contouring board so um, well this board is a perfect candidate candidate sorry because uh, well first things you have two uh, debug ports one it's uh, so called SWD for serial wire debug uh, allow you to uh, flash uh, the uh, Bradway software and the second one here is a serial port which allow you to update in real time all the parameters of the uh, quadcopter through the uh, multi uh, Canvas uh, interface, uh, graphic user interface. Uh, well, this board also have uh, some extra features. Uh, the FET here, located on the uh, uh, bottom part uh, of the board, are uh, rated up to six ampere. So. It can handle uh, very well uh, a large coreless motor such as uh, uh, 8.5 mm motor, so without any problems. And the, uh, also, you can find a very robust uh, um, filter, uh, RC filter, and the input stage filtering out all the uh, interferences coming from the, uh, for example, all the electronics of the motors. So you will have uh, probably a more cleaner FPV uh, signal uh, with this board. So this is definitively a lot of features including in this very cheap board and it can replace uh, very easily a board such as uh, Allen Wii or uh, Lufro or um, uh, beef boards uh, which cost close to $60, not including shipping. And you, with this board you have to also to add uh, RF ship and this one is included. So you have a, a NRF24 uh, Elder One compatible ship and uh, well thanks to um, uh, for example some tuning you can uh, choose a protocol running at 250 kilobit uh, per second and uh, you can have a great, great uh, radio control range such something like two or three hundred meters so definitively all the uh, features are gathered in this board so so the first steps uh, is to um, solder these two pads because originally uh, you have a mini switch okay to turn on off this quadcopter so you have to join them with a solder and uh, you will create a permanent link and you will immediately uh, turn on as soon as you are up, uh, power with the, your connector with the LiPo. Okay, so this is the first step. Uh, before to solder this two pad, I forgot to mention that you will need some material. So what you will need to install Bradway? Uh, well, you will need this um, very cheap ST-Link V2 uh, USB. Uh, connector. Well, it's allow you to uh, to flash Bradway on this SWG port. Okay, you will need a, a USB to serial uh, link. Uh, for example, this one is FDDI, but you can use any one. Okay, it's uh, allow you to uh, to connect to the serial port and to change your uh, multi uh, parameters. So, uh, well, you will need some you will need some connectors. So I uh, advise to uh, select this one, uh, there are uh, mini JST or Molex uh, models, so uh, here I choose some um, four, uh, five pounds model, okay, uh, if I'm not wrong, now there are four, okay. So you will need to install and to solder on the board, so uh, for example, on the, uh, on the top one, you will need to install the connector like this, okay, on the on the uh, SW board and solder and also this type of connector on the uh, um, serial uh, link like this so uh, I already prepare the cable to my uh, ST links or uh, FTDI link so everything will be okay so for the um, oh, sorry Maybe one point is not straight. Okay, so whatever, you will need to install this connector here. I will show in step two. Okay, so the first step is to uh, solder this uh, switch there. 
Okay, so the first step is to uh, join uh, these two parts, okay, to create a permanent link. So I will just cover these two with this order. I run, it can be pretty fast. Okay, and Okay, so now it's done. So when you will uh, plug uh, a battery, uh, now uh, the frame control board will be power on. Okay, so if you forgot to do that, you will find that your board is not working. So don't forget it. And I think this is, this is the first step. So the next one is to install uh, the first SWD uh, 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 connector for the SWD uh, port, okay, like this. So, um, well, you have to be aware that uh, personally I entered them, I got already done one board so uh, I will copy this uh, procedure so you have to insert the uh, uh, four pines connector starting completely from the uh, right position I hope you can see like this, like this so uh, starting to insert completely from the left okay so one should be uh, leave left on the right there okay and uh, well the connector is faced like this okay personally so i will now uh, solder well in, in order to facilitate the works i will also insert the second type of the second connector associated with the serial link so if i'm not wrong okay like this and it would be more much more easier to to solder so this time i the Connector is uh, in this position. I hope you can see. Okay, so like in this model. Okay, so uh, this is a serial port. This is a SWD uh, uh, port. Okay, so next type is to solder connector. It's, this is a tiny job, so be vigilant and careful. Use magnifier to do it. Okay, when you finish to our solder uh, the two connector like this. Uh, you have to check before to plug that there is no uh, indirect contact, so use uh, a digital multimeters in in contact connectivity mode and to check if there is no no problem with with the path. Okay, so the SW port. It's okay, so should be okay. Um, this is really important to do that. So now you should have uh, the board like this. And the next step is to uh, well further uh, this type of um, connector because usually you will plug uh, FPV gear, so it's good to uh, provide an uh, amount of uh, of uh, current. Okay, so this is our uh, one two. Um, uh, one dot twenty five millimeters mini GST connectors, so like this, and uh, well, you cut uh, the lens of your uh, for your FP gear, so something like this, and uh, solder directly on the uh, existing uh, plus and negative pad. So I cut the lens of my cable. I will pre-solder everything. Okay, we'll solder uh, the connector on the top pad. And the positive. Okay. 
course, uh, we need a third hand mat. You def definitely use the second hand I've got just close nearby me. I didn't use it. Um. Okay. Okay, now it's done. Uh, so the third region is, is done for the GXD board. So maybe you can add some uh, um, electrical tape to isolate uh, every, every, if you want the pad. Uh, also the uh, RC filter part if you want. Okay, so the next step is only a software configuration. So I will. Uh, uh, bring my computer or laptop to show how to flash Bradway and to erase first the initial firmware and then to install Bradway. So, as you can see, I installed some uh, uh, liquid electrical tape to protect the uh, pads, the positive and negative pad, and also install close to the antenna, okay, to make it a little bit more uh, solid eventually. and. Uh, uh, the board now would scale something like 3 drum 7 uh, with um, extra connector, with extra wires, uh, so it's still pretty light. Okay, next step is to uh, Bradway installation. Okay, I will show how to um, flash the Bradway uh, software. The first step to do is, uh, well, you have a dedicated web pages uh, in your two groups with this one. I wrote some time ago, so I will give the uh, links into the description of this video. Uh, you have a lot of videos uh, step by step and how to install the different software, especially the K software. You will need to flash uh, uh, the Bradway software on Windows, okay, at least. You have the different uh, boards, how to connect, etc. etc. So, uh, well, uh, the first step is to uh, erase the current uh, firmware, the uh, GXD one. So you have to go to these pages um, and uh, well, you have to plug your ST-Link into a USB 2.0, uh, no, it's not working on USB 3.0, well, at least on my computer, and to, uh, well, to uh, load a project on K. Uh, one, uh, so how to load a project, you have to go to open project here, and you have to um, load a uh, the uh, SWD uh, Hacking Master JXD uh, Hack UC Pro uh, file. Okay, uh, this one is compatible with the absent ship. Okay, so you have to uh, to to open it. it. Was already open, I guess. So I will first to close it. Close project. Open it. Open project. So blah blah blah. Okay, and then be sure that you selected the correct um, uh, ARM core uh, in this project. So go to up, click here with a small hammer, go to uh, debug, uh, go to uh, setting here, and go to a flash download. Okay, here by default uh, you have only the mini 50 uh, selected. Okay, so you can remove it. It's useless and or the more important is to add it's already done but in this list you will find on the uh, middle or last part uh, this one the M054 uh, uh, with 16 kilobytes okay so you have to add it and when it's done you will be able to flash on this uh, uh, current board okay so be sure uh, to do that and uh, well I don't know what you have in this project uh, maybe yes. 
Okay. You, you, okay. You have this. Uh, uh, it's a an empty file. Okay, empty project. This, so you have to to start in debug mode. Blah blah blah. As I said, there is a limit of thirty two kilos. Not no target. Oh, one important things. You have to connect the lipo into your board. This is very important. Okay. So. And when it's powered, you can start the debug now. Okay, and you will have to uh, copy this uh, instruction line here, include mini 51 flash 2.ini. So I will copy and copy here. You will have a panel button here. So uh, well, I already flashed it, but I will show that the first time uh, you press it, you will see that. Um, the uh, firmware is fixed, so and then you have to press this mini uh, 51 chip erased like this. And uh, okay, since I already write it, he said nothing to do, but he will say, Okay, okay, I write it, and then you can write the uh, standard config. Okay, and if everything is done, it's okay. So the absent uh, MCU is in now like a mini 54 uh, ZDA, okay. Okay, uh, now I uh, open the um, uh, Bradbury project, the main Bradbury project. So you have to go to uh, open uh, Bradbury, Bradbury Master, new branch. I call this folder Bradbury Master. And you have to charge this one, GD385. Okay, so this is the current one. And uh, well, in the rx underscore v2x02c file, uh, well, if you want to uh, run your um, frame board or well, the pro radio protocol at 250 kilobytes, you have to comment in the um, InixRx functions uh, located, uh, located at the bottom part of the code. You have to comment the, uh, this line NRF2401 set bitrate uh, to 1 megabyte and you have to uh, Rewrite end to end and set to underscore one m by underscore two hundred fifty k. Okay, so you have to uh, compile uh, your code like this. Well, more here you can rebuild everything. Okay, uh, plug your lipo because it's very important to flash. Okay, and then uh, use this button to flash that way. So it will first erase the ship and program. And it's done now. Okay, so uh, Bradbury is flashed. And uh, well, you have to uh, reboot the uh, board. Okay, you can remove from the uh, connector. And if everything is okay, uh, if you plug the board, uh, you have the board should be uh, with this project. The LEDs should be uh, uh, moving with the when you move the board. So the next step is to see how uh, uh, how to use the serial link. Okay, so you don't need uh, the lipo, but you will need this. Uh, well. Uh, the uh, serial link there. Okay, so I will plug the uh, the uh, FTDI here on the USB. Okay, and I will uh, close the Bradway and um, load on the uh, software. So this is uh, in application Windows 32. Maybe I hope you can see and you can run multi -conf there. Okay, before to attack the serial link, uh, one thing you have to check, uh, well, maybe two. First, uh, a software point. Uh, well, you have to open the um, 
the file config underscore gd uh, 385.h and be sure uh, that uh, close to the 85 line uh, you have a define a uh, serial underscore zero underscore boat and uh, well you can tune it to uh, uh, 115 200 uh, maximum speed in the serial link uh, well so be sure and it's serial zero okay it's, it's very important so uh, when it's done uh, you have of course uh, if it was a different setting you have to refresh uh, Bradwit so uh, when it's done uh, you have to uh, quit this program and uh, to open this multi conf so come with uh, Bradwit so uh, well before uh, you have to go to setting here be sure to have uh, 115 uh, 200 selected and uh, well you have to plug your uh, so your uh, USB link there, your uh, serial link in the front uh, port like this, and uh, you have to uh, well select your port and to uh, connect. Okay, sometimes it's not working. You have to reconnect the USB. Okay, and to reconnect. Okay, and as you can see. Uh, now it's working, okay. So be sure to set uh, one the maximum speed there, and uh, to select the right port and connect, and you will be able to uh, well to see like this. If still not working, okay, uh, there is a small trick. Okay, I will uh, stop close the connection. Uh, be sure uh, eventually you have to uh, remove uh, one's tiny caps as I did I uh, was not sure but I did but it has no impact so uh, here maybe you can see you have the uh, RC filter here so on the uh, block here with uh, resistance and I already remove the capacity you have a small capacity on the right pad vertical pad you have to remove gently okay and you uh, you have to uh, the resistance here and here should stay in place okay so you just remove gently this tiny capacity which is vertical here okay in these cases uh, if you remove it at the end it should work, your serial link should work, okay? uh, but it should work immediately out of the box so in case it's not working directly so uh, you can reconnect, well sometimes you have it's slow okay. sometimes you have to disconnect the USB to replug okay, and reconnect Okay, now it's working. So, uh, well, be sure you can save all the settings. I publish here some settings. Uh, I will publish in the video, but maybe you can see uh, something like tune close to uh, dot nine. Well, uh, you have to close it and to uh, open. Well, in fact, I save some better. Well, I will first reconnect to the board. Okay. Connect sometime need. Okay, so I've, I saved some good uh, parameters. So you have to go to uh, we'll find them, Bradway, and this is a version five. Okay, and uh, well, in fact, it's not saving everything, so. Uh, is not saving the arm so I install by default arm and um, I engage um, the uh, Thermia crew on uh, 
auxiliar for I position like this. So I'm writing the stuff. Okay, all the other parameters should be okay. We closed, reconnect, read. Okay, now it should be okay.